What are you doing in the theater? <laughs> Why are you in there, sir? So, we are in the car. We are on our way to the hardware store because we are going to get some shears. We need some really, really sharp shears. Today's the day that we have to cull the males from our quail flock. Really should have been done a couple of weeks ago. The boys are getting way too rough with the girls. We had one lady scalped today, so it can't wait any longer. We have got to get that done. So that's what we're gonna do today. We're gonna take you along for that. We're gonna show you how we do that. If you are interested in that sort of content, uh, we have to get it done. It's part of what we're doing. It's part of our farming and our homesteading and um, just being real. So we're gonna go ahead and do that today and we will show you as best we can. You know, some people view this process of you know culling animals as cruel and we totally get that. I mean, I grew up in a place where it was definitely looked at as very cruel. Uh, what you discover very quickly on a farm um, and really kind of in that homesteading world is that you have a responsibility to manage your animals and part of that responsibility is you, you've got to select animals for culling. Uh, and when you see the way that male fowl treat female fowl, specifically, you know, uh, quails, which are, they can be notoriously uh, violent, you realize, oh, this is not about cruelty, this is about responsibility. And so that's what we're doing. What are you doing in the theater? <laughs> Why are you in there, sir? Quail have a tendency to become very aggressive when you do not have an appropriate female to male ratio. The ideal ratio for quails is one uh, roo to four or five hens. And at that point, the hen can kind of share the load with her sisters and um, nobody gets overwhelmed. So I am going to get set up and I will bring you with me. All right, so we have done 15 of the birds that we've had to do. We have our last one that we're gonna do and I'm gonna take you through step by step exactly how we process these birds. Um, we're gonna do it, my father is actually helping me with this. So I'll narrate and he will uh, demonstrate and uh, you'll see how we do it. So what we're gonna do is we're going to take our rooster and we're gonna have an, a very sharp knife and we're just gonna do one quick cut. We're just gonna hang him here over this bucket until the rooster is bled out. And from here, it's a really simple process. Um, quail wings are far too small to save. So you're gonna clip both wings off the bird. Okay, and then you're gonna clip the feet off at the joint. And then starting up at the neck, the skin just peels very, very easily. You're just gonna take all of it off. You just peel straight down toward the bottom of the bird. Pull its legs out. And all of that will come off in one piece, minus the tail feathers, which stick on. So you have to rip those off separately. Once that's done, you take your poultry shears and you cut the bottom right where the tail was off. And then you're going to start at the neck Go down both sides of the spine. And then you just pull backwards and remove everything all at once.
and the little lungs stick to the inside, so you have to use your finger to get those out. Once you've done that, you just give it a good rinse in some fresh water. Make sure you clean it off as best as you can, and it's ready to go on ice. Once we get them all cleaned up and back in the house, I'm just gonna go ahead and, they've been sitting in really cold water for a little bit, so I'm just gonna double check, make sure we got everything out of them, make sure there's no feathers left on them, and then just make sure that they don't have anything that needs to be cleaned up. And then that's, that's right there what they look like. We're just gonna set them up here, and then we're gonna chill them, make sure that we chill them in the fridge overnight before you cook them. And that is how we process our quail. And uh, we know that that's a bit of an intense video for some of us. Uh, and so, man, it's what it is. It's life on a homestead. And we're really in the process. We promise we'd take you along with us in the journey. We're learning. Um, this is how we're getting meat in our freezer. Yeah, it's definitely part of how we're doing it until we can, you know, do meat chickens and pigs and cows and all that we normally would eat and we have to buy still, um, right now we're able to supplement what we have to buy at the store with the quail that we raise. And they have lived great lives yeah. for quail. They've been fed very well. Um, we know everything that they've eaten is very healthy and organic for them and so that makes the meat very healthy and organic for us. Mm -hmm. And um, it's just good. It feels good to be able to put food on the plate in front of my children and I know from the egg I hatched to the, you know, to, to today, the process that they went through, um, the life that those birds lived and how healthy their meat is, and yep. I know what I'm giving my kids, and that's a really good thing. Yeah, and like I said at the beginning of the video, it's not about cruelty, it's about responsibility. So right. we hope that this was a really informative video for you. We hope that you're enjoying following us on uh, this journey of homesteading, and we'll see you next time. Yeah. Bye. All right.